So what exactly is the difference between ad groups versus campaigns in Google Ads? Well, let's take a look because this can be a little bit confusing at first. <laughs> um, in general, your campaign is going to be, or excuse me, your ad group is going to be a level below campaigns in the structure or hierarchy of your account. There's a quick little graphic on Channelable. Shout out to Channelable if, if you're watching this. Um, but they have this nice little graphic where it shows you have your account right here and then your campaigns like electronics, shoes, plants. And then in each ad group, you would have those broken up by topic. So under electronics, you'd have laptops and phones. Under shoes, you'd have heels and sandals. Under plants, you'd have flowers and trees. But that's only part of it, is the actual structure and making sure that the ads that you're showing people are congruent and related to the topic that they're searching about. But there's also specific things you can control at the campaign level that you won't control at the ad group level and vice versa. So at the campaign level, you'll be controlling like bid strategies, goals, meaning your um, conversion goals budgets like how much you're spending on the ads and then at the ad group level you can control your bids like um, your target cost per lead or target cost per acquisition um, your targeting as well as your placement so depending on what you're trying to adjust here um, like say you're trying to target specific keywords those are going to be done at the ad group level right or let's say um, this this isn't necessarily listed out here, but let's say you want to change the target geographic area that you're that you're wanting to show your ads to. That's going to happen at the campaign level. So it really depends on what you're trying to achieve, whether you're going to be able to achieve it through a campaign or through an ad group. But interestingly, Google Ads their their definition essentially just says each of your campaigns is made up of one or more ad groups and you want to use ad groups to organize ads by common themes. So for example, try separating ad groups into different products or service types that you offer, which is what we're seeing right here, right? So this is, there's kind of two distinctions. An ad group allows you to make very congruent um, ads, right? And show them to people who are looking for the specific things that you offer whether that be trees or flowers underneath plants right but then it also gives you some hierarchy and, and flexibility with controlling different things like your bids your targeting placements etc so i hope you found this helpful if there's anything you did have questions about in terms of the difference between ad groups versus campaigns or anything of that nature don't hesitate to reach out just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries, and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you